all talking like like ain't nothing happening. I just gonna hit it the video and start another one after this one go off. So yeah, man. How long you got to talk? We're gonna talk until you get your lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm at home, man. <laughs> no lunch chilling. today. <laughs> I'm chilling for the day. Yeah, cause um, like I said today, you know, Australia is not feeling me. <laughs> you know, I love, I love, I love my Australian family. I love the people over in the UK because you get more love and respect for those outside the United States than you do in the United States. You know, you get a different understanding. You get their perspective, their point of view. Mm -hmm. So it all works out. You know, as long yeah. as you still, everybody still got that that uh, that care for humans. You know, yeah. Well, that's the uh, point. Eventually, we can work. Humans left, and I told her not all black people are people. Not all white people are people. Not all people are actually human beings, because we take care of ourselves. We take care of each other. But in the world we live in, it's like, man, fuck, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> And that's how we've been taught, you know, it yeah. goes back to what we was just talking about, you know what I'm saying, the century itself, we've been taught to look, to, to just care about the now and what we need individually versus what, what the whole the whole universe could use to uh, heighten consciousness as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's true, but we'll never find consciousness as long as there's white people and black people and Mexican people and, and Chinese people and Asian people. Instead of just human beings, we got all these different kinds of people who don't mesh. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, and they call that they call that divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's that's like, the Tower of Babel for you, right there. We've been mind controlled by the television or the different musics or the different mm -hmm. groups. You know what I'm saying? The different everything. You know, it's all divided up into different categories. And then once you can see past the different categories, and you can start to build something real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the real AIX. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> a lot of people tell me I'm a racist. A lot of people hate me. A lot of people hate me for this or that. But I'm trying to be consistent. And I told people I was going to stop talking about black people. I was going to stop talking about this and I'm going to stop talking about that. But then, once again, this is, YouTube is like the military. You think you finished a, an operation somewhere, and next thing you know, you've been shipped out somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Right, right back in the line. Right back in there. Tell them you a racist. The only thing you racist too is racist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Oh. Because if, as a whole, as a whole, if everybody gave a damn about somebody other than their self, you wouldn't be able to see nobody's color. You know, if your car's on fire and a white man come up there with a water hose, hey, wait a minute. I don't want no white water on my car. Come on, what kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? When they cut you open and give you somebody's liver, do you actually say, you know what, uh, could you order me a white liver because I don't want no crack in my system? You know, mm -hmm. people don't understand this because we've been led astray so long that all we believe is what we think we know. And now that everything is switched to digital, we can't even believe anything we see on TV anymore. <laughs> you know. Never. That's that's their main tool, man. The television, like you were saying, mm. in a couple videos back, where growing up, all you seen was was white characters and this and that. You know what I'm saying? You was taught to to praise that exactly. group. So how can you be a racist? At the end of the day, I feel like this: black people have they do have a reason for some type of dissent or. Mm -hmm. or uh, animosity towards white people but at the end of the day where's all this kkk stuff coming from they have no real reason to hate yeah. black people like they do you know yeah, it's like, at you know, the end of the day we got to get over all of that yeah, you know why you and, gonna hate the motherfucker that you made do the crops you, you can say a group of people built this country but whose backs did they build it on they killed the indians to get the land kidnapped the niggas to work the land and now they mad Oh, Why yeah. you gonna be mad at uh, black built people? This for sure. You know, they can say what they want, but we built it. You know, it was the slaves who built it. Mm -hmm. And at the at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people saying, or even in that video where where the, the, the white, the Caucasian lady was saying, there's no respect for the white man and what he's done for you. You know what I'm saying? She must didn't understand fully what slavery was about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We built this bitch, you know? If anything, it should be some some respect shown for us. You know what I'm saying? Because that was a cruel deed that was done upon us. And we mm -hmm. built this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And now we watching... 
the same people who enslaved us destroyed us mud from behind behind the scenes you know what i'm saying exactly. it's the, the long hand of the of the the real government you yeah, know the, the shadow the wizard of oz that's what that's what some people call it that's so what some people in the government actually calls it the wizard of oz because there's somebody behind hey. a curtain calling all the shots and then we the people of america think that we're free and like i said in that one video they didn't free the slaves they enslaved the white man no doubt just like you were saying with the social security and all that that's mm -hmm. proven fact you know you sent me that video property we are property of the queen of england you know what i'm saying Thank as far you. as the social security go and everybody thinking that America is this this wonderful place, but as soon as you sign them papers, you know what I'm saying, you get your number, like you were saying, that's yeah. it, you enslaved. So you're enslaved. And everything you own is, is property of the government at that point. Exactly. And you get, and, and you, you, you get, you lose your rights, but you inherit privileges, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you, you, you inherit the, the, the laws of the land. Yeah, you know? it's like, like the payoff, it, I bet you the payoff was good a long time ago. A long time ago, there was actually a balance to it, probably, but now there is no balance to it. Everyone is enslaved, and um, it still is. Yeah, the credit, the credit card company is, is the new masters, I think, because the banks, the banks are old. These are the old masters, the old people, the old money own the banks and shit. But the new masters are the credit card companies that send teenagers credit cards, knowing that ain't. You in high school, you ain't got a fucking job yet, but they're going to give you a credit card with $5,000 balance on it. You take the motherfucker behind your parents' back and use it to the fullest, and then your that's parents got to pay for it. It's like, and, and that's a joke. If you really sit back and think about it, mm -hmm. the, the credit, when they give you that credit, when you use it, that is when that money comes into circulation. That is when that money is, is created. Hey, that is when it's printed. That's when it's created. When you start spending on it, when you don't spend on it, there's nothing. That money is no longer there. So these people are behind the scenes creating money as they go. You know, yeah. they don't have it. Then you know what I'm saying. They don't. Yeah. It's not their wealth. It's not their savings. It's yeah. nothing. There's nothing there. Yeah. As soon as you spend it. Now you own it, you owe it to those people to pay it back. So it's like they, they just print the money up as it goes. And that's the same thing with banks. For every $1,000 you put in a the bank, they can leverage that up to nine times. So it's $9,000 to yeah. loan out to the next person, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that, that's why I that, said it, with the banks and shit, it's like, I'm an American citizen. Okay, I'm not happy with my bank. What do I do? I take my money out of the bank. I go find another bank that's going to be best for me. And as a citizen of the United States of America, we've been using the same bank. And every time we use our ATM card, they charge us $150,000. You know what I'm saying? And as a country, we need a new bank. And even though the system that we run in is totally corrupt and fucked up, mm -hmm. if we could, if, if the United, if Obama and Senate in Congress say, you know what? We've used the Federal Reserve for 59 years, and, you know, we're not really getting no return on our money. Fuck it. Let's call up the Swiss. Let's call up somebody else who's willing to work this fucker thing for us without charging us these fucked up fees. Because we're going to do yeah, it like yeah. this. If you just look at the Federal Reserve Bank like a regular bank, and yeah. the United States of America is one customer, how many other customers they got? They treat the only fucking customers I see that they have pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> now the thing, the thing you gotta understand too about those banks is the same families, they own all of the reserve banks across the across the globe. You know, yeah, you can go to the same five. Same, it's the same deal. You know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what needs to happen is, me personally, I don't really care about the whole monetary system how it is right now. It needs mm. to be adjusted a lot. But first things first. Is you got to get the the money out of the hands of these bankers and these private these private corporations? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they looking out for the 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 best. They looking out for themselves. They're not looking out for the people. They're in there to grow money. The first money. thing, the first thing we would need to do is is me personally. I I would think we need to take a look at the Constitution and redo that shit so that it incorporates all people and all races and and, and just basically points it out that we are all one race you know what i'm saying yeah just redo that mm -hmm. and from that incorporate that the the new whatever government we come